hello everyone and welcome back um to my channel today we're going to be doing spirit baby readings we're going to be doing pals one two and three so um if you want to take notes please make sure that you guys have something to write with so you guys can take notes there's a lot of cards that just came out so i'm going to start putting those into the pals now for pal number one, we're starting off with three or more years. Right now isn't the time yet. We have past life healing. We have inner child healing. So pal number one, the reason why it may take three or more years is because there are things in your past life that you have not worked through. So let's just say that you kind of feel in that energy like you feel stuck you feel stagnant um even you may not you may have spiritual abilities but you may not be sure how to use them um you may feel like you can't trust anyone you may feel you may feel like you're not seen or heard you could be even feeling pain and not sure why you're feeling this pain you could be feeling sad and not sure as to why you're sad you could feel like death hang is hanging over you and this this all could be because of how you died in your past life uh pal number one i also think you are dealing with currently some of the people who were in your past life I feel like you know those people now but you don't know that they were people from your past life too you need to watch those people you also may be dealing with uh past life trauma not past life trauma because i do i well you are dealing with past life trauma that's not what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is childhood trauma you could be dealing with childhood trauma, maybe things that happened in your childhood that you're not over yet, that you haven't worked through because maybe you're scared to work through it. You don't wanna relive it. But it's like the spiritual realm needs you to heal over these things so you could be a better mother to your child your child is going to carry this energy though, pal number one, um, where they're going to be able to even heal you. You and this child, y'all y'all have been together before. Like, maybe this child was your parent in your past life, the child that you're going to have. And I feel like it's definitely a rainbow baby. So you may have lost the child. And this is probably why you're so eager too, because... You're ready to get your child back. But your child is your child is going to come. It's just some things that you have to work through first before you can have this baby. Okay, if that resonates with you, pal number one, let me know down in the comments. Pal number two, you're going through a spiritual awakening. You may be tapping into your gifts. You may not know how to tap into your gifts you may be researching you could be working with a mentor i feel like some of you are um, in power number two you are focused on doing the work so you're not one of those who um wants to be into spirituality but doesn't want to do the work i feel like you it's not something that someone has to coach you into. You know what you want. Uh, the next card is incoming communication. So your baby is going to be speaking to you. You are having a rainbow, a rainbow baby too. I would, I would definitely keep that that journal hand, handy. Even um, so, I would. Pile number two, get two sets of journals. Um, because the next card is a dream it says keep track of your dreams so make sure you have a dream journal and make sure you have if you're watching uh, videos on YouTube 
baby readings or any other type of readings, keep a journal for that as well. And then keep a journal for your, for your spiritual journey. And that's pile number two. Pile number three, having your baby is going to be healing your mother's wounds as well as your baby is going to be healing your wounds. You guys, you guys come from a very powerful generation and you guys too may um, be having children who were related to you in the past life, whether, whether they were your parent, an aunt, a uncle, a great, great, great grandparent. Somebody's coming back to help you heal. So overall, what I'm seeing with these three pals so far, a lot of you have a lot of healing to do. Not pal number two as much as pal number one and pal number three. Pal number three, make peace with your past. So yeah, you and pal number one y'all have a lot going on with your past maybe you guys need to get past life readings so you can figure out exactly what it is that has you blocked because something has you blocked from your past and i don't even think that you know what it is you feel it but you're not really just sure what it is you have a rainbow baby too power number three so I'm just going to say that this whole reading is going to be about you guys rainbow babies because power number three we have I love you just thought we should know and then we see the rainbows on the cards okay so let's see what else we can get if any of this is resonating with you like I said like really let me know because that helps. Okay, hold on. Let me pick these up. Power number one. I'm going to push these up. Some people have to learn the hard way. They have to learn things the hard way, okay? You can't learn them for them. This could be a family member. This could be a co-worker. This could be somebody you're in a relationship with. All right. This could be somebody you think that's your friend and they're really not your friend. Um, you could be, you know, on your fertility journey and they're kind of like giving you bad vibes and negative energy telling you maybe to like give up. Don't give up. It's something it's something bigger that has to happen, but it's nothing wrong with you physically. It's just some things that you have to um, work through. All right, uh, pile number two, when one door closes, another one opens. So only you will know what that means. Just keep in mind that don't, don't let yourself get stuck or don't quit something that you're trying to do because you've been told no. You know, when someone tells you no, that should be motivation to keep going, all right? Power number three, we have November coming out. All right. We have There's No Shady Business going on. We also have You're Being Prepared, What You Asked For, Power number three. Okay. Power number two, someone who chose power number two. Um, now isn't the right time okay you will have to wait till next year and they want you to work on your root chakra energy okay this doesn't mean this is for everyone who chose the pal it just means that someone or a few someone's who chose that chose that pal that is the message there okay I'm gonna keep going to see what else we could get It's crazy how these cars just fell in three different places on the floor. Okay. So this one came out first. 
pile number one, someone in this pile is going to have twin boys. Um, <laughs> pile number one, a girl and a boy. So this may be why you have to wait so long. Um, and some of you, let me just say it like this. Some of you may have already been waiting three years. So if you have already been waiting three or more years and you think you're pregnant now or you've been trying to get pregnant or you're with your person and this is what you guys are working on, you guys could possibly have uh, twin boys. And then after that pregnancy, you're gonna have another set of twins and it's gonna be a girl and a boy, okay? So I told you, don't even, don't even get in your feels about it. All right, pile number two, they're saying, will it matter in a few years? Then if it's not, don't sweat it. Like L-I-G it, let it go. Um, let whoever it is go, especially if it's family drama. I was saying yesterday in another reading that the moon was full and the moon had been full literally for four days. We have Mercury retrograde starting up on the 1st of April. And we have the um, the solar eclipse coming on the 8th. So the energy that's around right now, a lot of things are being revealed. But at the same time, you know, these revelations may be very shocking because it may not be something that you want to hear, but it's definitely something you need to hear or it's something that you need to say and you're really not sure how to say it or you don't want to say it however that resonates with you you have to do what you have to do for your best interest and at the same time if someone is making you feel like this you know to the point where the universe is saying hey will it matter in a few years no don't sweat it just leave them alone because obviously they're not for you and they're not for the betterment of yourself and that could be for anybody in each pal so just take that how it resonates everything is unfolding exactly as planned okay so we have october coming up for pal number three so someone i mean pal number two so someone in pal number two is going to be getting pregnant in october on pile number three, we have commit to your goals. We have have patience or you set yourself up for failure. So the thing about being committed is you really have to be committed and dedicated to what it is that you want to do. Like things may get hard, they may get tough, but again, that should be motivation. Never just quit your goals because it doesn't fit in the time frame that you wanted it to be like we all set time frames for ourselves, but we have to be realistic on the time frames you know so let's just throw something out there let's just say you say i want to be a millionaire in a year you know you could work yourself hard don't get no sleep for a whole year but at the end of that year going into the beginning of that next year you may not be where you want to be financially so instead of blaming yourself pat yourself on the back you know and say wow look what i've accomplished within this year you know and when you commit to something you literally have to stay committed to it um that is that is just like the biggest energy going on right now where people are wanting all these things to happen for them but they're not literally committing to the actual goal that they want they're expecting someone to hand it to them versus them doing the work and that's just what the energy is right now you know and it's not a good energy to be in because anything that comes easy you know you should be leery about that anyway anything that comes easy like hard work pays off you know like that saying is out there for a reason because it's true hard work does pay off you know let's see what we got um pound number one put down the swords work together as a team so if you and dad are doing this fighting you know that could be another reason why 
someone in power number one is stuck and not able to have their babies. Maybe you guys are arguing during the time of ovulation. So you're missing your fertility window, you know? So I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. You know, just try to work it out. Try to listen. Power number one, I don't <laughs> Y'all gonna be, it's like y'all gonna be fucking and fighting. <laughs> Cause y'all got two sets of twins coming out. So we got two boys. We got a girl and a boy twins. And now we got triplets. <laughs> Let me find out y'all arguing with each other just to have makeup sex. Cause that's what it looked like. Y'all petty. Y'all petty for real. Y'all love each other, so why are you even playing? Like, be honest with yourself, power number two. And that may go for more than just power number one, because some of y'all may have picked all three pals, you know, like, which is nothing wrong with that, you know? Um, this could be anybody's situation, right? Uh, ground your energy. Sometimes it's hard to ground your energy if you're not an earth sign. Even for earth signs, it's hard to ground your energy. But like, if you a water sign, yeah, it, it get hard to ground your energy because you be so emotional. Water, water signs are very emotional. Um, pile number two, we got pregnancy symptoms because I'm eager to be born. So if you thought you was gonna escape that morning sickness, you're not. You know, let me be the one to tell you. All right. Um, boundaries, pushing communication isn't a good idea. Okay. So, scenario. I just want him to talk to me. I just want him to listen to me. I just want to say what's on my mind. Ciao. Mercury. <laughs> Mercury is with the moon and with the eclipse and with all of the other placements that's going on in the world right now. Like, it may be hard, you know, and then you got to think about something too because top of the deck, you know, he may not want to speak on his wounds right now. Like, that may not be something he want to talk about. So, you have to respect that. You know, not only do you have to respect that, but you have to understand where he's coming from because it's clear in this reading, you guys have wounds too. And one thing I find coming with people, especially people that I have worked with, they'll say that they have childhood trauma and they're healing over their trauma. So they literally try to force their partner to do the same. Like you can't force nobody to work through their trauma. The point and the goal is, is to work on you and yourself. Like, don't even try to get no information about shadow work and healing and then try to go use that on somebody else to doctor them. I feel like that's very rude and it's, and it's narcissistic too because just because you learn something or just because you're working on something doesn't mean that you have the right to impede on somebody else's space and literally try to force them to heal because you're healing you know like you didn't live the life that they live you didn't go through what they went through so it's just like respect their boundaries too you know and some of you may be aries and like i tell everybody you can't spell boundaries without aries that's why like us aries like we put up boundaries 18 miles high like we don't we don't have time to deal with the drama all right pile number three don't worry about your age you got this boo -boo. people have babies at all ages okay so whoever is telling you oh you're getting old oh you can't tell them to shut up okay throat chakra all right because that baby is coming and it's gonna be a little boy Okay, you're going to have a boy power number three. When you do, let me know. You know, um, clearing ancestral trauma, 
pound number three that that says a lot because it's like when you heal yourself you also heal your ancestors and then when you speak how you feel it also helps your ancestors too because they're like okay she's getting it he's getting it they're finally standing up for themselves and that's really what they want they want you to stand up for yourself because it's really hard for some people to do that you know um pile number three we have april so some of you may get pregnant next month or you may find out you're pregnant during april all right pile number one we have raise your vibration okay we have write out a plan you definitely gonna have to write out a plan because y'all have a lot of babies coming and you also have new opportunities coming in and a lot of these opportunities that's coming in pile number one it could be because of your pregnancies like there's this large misconception that when you have babies you know you'll be broke you'll never have no money blah 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 blah, blah. you can't travel you can't do this you can't do that it's just a whole bunch of people that are literally speaking on things that they don't know because they didn't know what to do in their situation so don't let nobody talk fear into your plans okay so like just keep being yourself like and if i feel like somebody in power number one like i feel like your family don't um they don't like the person that you with but it's your relationship okay it's not it's not their relationship so really they sh they really need to just shut up and mind the business that pays them because obviously you don't you know instead of because i feel like that's what's causing some of the arguments too um for power number one so for power number one i got a few cards for you we got september we have uh, clear your space and get organized. We have June and we have take accountability. Okay, for power number one. So like I said, somebody, for somebody it may take three or more years, you know, due to certain situations. And then for others, it may not take that time pile number two i have january for you i also have treat yourself self-care and i have baby girl coming in for pile number two Let's see what else i could get for you guys i'm trying to get the cards even here um so for pal number three, you guys need to work on your heart chakra and your solar plexus chakra. All right. Pal number Wizon. We have I'm busy working with their energy. We have, I support your decision. We have faith and positivity. And someone needs to take prenatal vitamins. And pal number one. Pal number two, we got December. Number two, we got endings are beginnings in disguise. Moving on to pile number three. Where did card just go? We got July. We got take some time to reflect. Alright, pile number three, 
We have March, so someone may be getting pregnant this month or already be pregnant. We have you can't interfere. They have to make the decision to heal on their own and do the and do the work on their own, basically is what that card is saying, which is double clarifying what I said. Um yeah, someone in this pal who chose pal number three, you guys need to take a pregnancy test. Pregnant with your rainbow baby. Um, we have, I sent you some inspiration. So for those who are not pregnant yet, uh, this would be for you. And we have let down your energetic walls. Okay. See if I could get you guys some more cards. Okay, that's a lot. Up. Power number one, that is going to be a big help. Uh, we have Taurus baby, your baby could be born in April, May. Um, you or dad could be born in April or May. You want so one of you guys could be a Taurus, or your baby's gonna be a Taurus. Um, it says surprise you'll be so happy when you find out my gender Okay, you guys got a lot of surprises going on in power number one power number two You guys are going to be having an angel baby It's important for you to eat nutritious foods. Okay, so if you can um, If you're not a farmer, I would definitely advise that you go uh, to a place where farmers do have like food there like a farmers market um, to get your food Grocery store food is just horrible um, Thank you for setting up my room. I love it. So somebody's already pregnant and working on baby's room We have a Scorpio in this pal. So baby could be Scorpio parents could be Scorpio grandparents could be Scorpio all right, we have baby boy coming out for pal number three. All right, pal number one, you guys are gonna be watching baby videos, getting ready, okay? Um, you guys also um, may be having an Aries baby, okay? Uh, so you could be delivering in March or April, or you could get pregnant in these months, or you or dad. Um, or grandparents could be an Aries. We have uh, the stroller you picked out for me. It's so nice. Okay. Okay, so pile number two and three. Somebody could be an Aquarius. Uh, playful energy, cutest laugh. Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Um, we have still in the spiritual realm, waiting for the right time. Power number three, we have thank you for making me feel loved and safe. My grandparents are going to spoil me so these like I said these could also be the signs of the grandparents too um, because just because you guys energy is so strong with them we have c-section for power number three we also have prenatal vitamins um, we have I love when um, I love to snuggle with stuffed animals Okay, someone um, in pal number two is definitely uh, having their rainbow baby because this comes after a disappointment. You may be a Gemini or have a Gemini baby or dad may be a Gemini. 
and pal number one i believe you guys somebody in this pal is considering a water birth so i pretty much placed the cards where i felt led uh, to place them based off of what i'm seeing feeling and hearing all right guys um i have to catch this call so i hope you guys um i hope this helped you gave you some clarity if it did please let me know down in the comments i will be doing another spirit baby reading um so stay tuned for that one as well all right bye